Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect the Hive thermostat. That is the one which uh, says heating control from your smartphone, tablets and laptop. It comes with three parts, thermostat, receiver and the hub. So, just going to undo it. Okay, you have got the hub, the very top. And then you have got the receiver. And then you have got this thermostat. So let's start with the thermostat. When you open the box, there's a little manual. It has got four batteries and the body itself. So you open the back of it. You put the batteries here. And after putting the batteries, I reckon you do not switch it on. It's gonna come with this screen, but do not switch it on. Otherwise, it's gonna look for uh, it's gonna look for its receiver, which I haven't wired it yet. Then you might not be able to pair it for easily. And on the receiver, you open it. Then you see. Okay, by, by the way, for doing this job, you need uh, a few tools. You need electric screwdriver, the spanner, and the wire stripper. And, uh, okay, and you need a hammer as well. If you can't do it, just smash it, yeah? And call someone else to do it for you. It wasn't supposed to be here. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's go back to basics. Okay, okay. You undo the two screws on underneath. Okay, you have got this. As you can see from uh, left to right, you have got the neutral, you have got the life, then you have got one, two, three, and four. So I'm usually connecting it to, to the boiler directly. So life and neutral, life and neutral directly goes to the boiler PCB. And then I use one and three. One as a kind of life and three is a switch life. So I'm gonna show you inside the boiler later on. Then uh, the one which has got the brown wire, it goes to one. The one which has got the blue wire, it goes to three. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. Yep, yeah, I'll just pause it for a second. Yep, here I go again. Uh, if you notice, I did take the earth wire off. We don't need it anymore. So we have got the neutral life, which goes to the boiler, and then we have got the life and switch life for the uh, for the heating. So it's the same, the same backing, like uh, like the Honeywell. Yeah. So here we have got this. Spanner grip, which I was showing you what we need it for. We just need to undo this bottom bit. And then, yep, yeah, you slide it in here. The body. Then you push it in. Like it. And then, there's a screw slide. So we go back again and do it. Sorry, we have to undo this. First, we have to screw the the back wiring plate to the wall, and then we did it as we just demonstrated. I've got two screw holes here, to the right and to the left. 
you screw it somewhere above or to the side of the body a bit away from it and then this front body comes onto it and then i'll show you how to wire this other end of the cable to the boiler hi guys yep as you can see i just stuck it here above the boiler the front body and the back funnel is fine so so far we so far we don't need the hammer so let me do the wiring to the boiler then we'll see how it goes yep yeah, i had a call coming okay uh, as you saw how i wired the top uh, receiver this is how it goes to the boiler live and neutral is here and then uh, we have got on the pcb you see 24 volt the top one is the black one goes into which goes to number one and then rt which is room thermostat is the gray one at the bottom so now we're gonna start it and see hopefully it should work button on power up there is power there and by the way to pair that one to the thermostat you need to keep it let me see if you can see the light now you need to hold the button the flame button for 10 seconds then it's gonna start working see the boiler is up but it's not running as the control is showing only 60 degrees and then going to let's say 32 and then you will see that light will come on the flame and then the boiler will kick in here yeah? that one came and this one came and now the flame is gonna appear and that's it i don't want to heat it up but there's nobody living at this property now so i'm just going back to five degrees see the flame is on so yeah the ball is trying to kick in but then this light is flashing so it means it goes back onto relaxing with off position that's it guys luckily no need for the hammer so but just remember yeah you have to be competent and know a bit of wiring Otherwise, please do not touch it. Avoid touching uh, any wiring or any, any heating system. Yep, it should go off now in a sec. Yep, it's gone off. And the demand is off. Yep, thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.